kind of rotor shown here is known as salient pole rotor. For gaining better insight of its working let's consider a rotor with just four poles. Rotor coils are excited with a DC power source. The rotor is made to rotate by a prime mover. This makes the rotor flux also rotate along with it, at the same speed. Such revolving magnetic flux now intersects the armature coils, which is fitted around the rotor. This will generate an alternating electromagnetic force across the winding. Since four pole rotor has got two pairs of NS pole, when the rotor turns a half revolution the induced EMF takes one complete cycle. So it is clear that frequency of the induced EMF is directly proportional to the number of poles and rotor speed. It can be easily established that frequency of induced EMF, rotor speed and number of poles are connected through the following relationship. It is clear from this relationship that, frequency of electricity produced is synchronized with mechanical rotational speed. For producing three phase A dot C current, two more such armature coils which are in 120 degree phase difference with the first is put in the stator winding. Generally one end of these three coils are star connected and three phase electricity is drawn from the other ends. Neutral cable can be drawn from the star connected end. It is clear from past equation that in order to produce 60 Hz electricity, a four-pole rotor should run at following speed of 1800 rpm. Such huge rpm will induce a tremendous centrifugal force on poles of the rotor and it may fail mechanically over time. So salient pole rotors are generally having 10 to 40 poles, which demands lower rpm. Salient pole rotors are used when the prime mover rotates at relatively lower speed from 120 to 400 rpm. Pole core is used to effectively transfer magnetic flux, and they are made with fairly thick steel lamina. Such insulated lamina reduces energy loss due to eddy current formation. DC current is supplied to rotor, with a pair of slip rings. This is the reason why a rotating magnetic field approach is used in alternator. If rotating coil method were used, slip rings have to fit it along with the armature coils in order to collect electricity. But transferring such high voltage electricity with slip ring is rather impractical. It is quite possible to transfer low voltage DC excite current with slip rings. This DC current is supplied either from an external source or from a small DC generator which is fitted on the same prime mover. Such alternators are called self-excited. With variation of load generator, terminal output voltage will vary. It is desired to keep the terminal voltage in a specified limit. Automatic voltage regulator helps in achieving this. Voltage regulation can be easily achieved by controlling the field current. If terminal voltage is below the desired limit regulator increases the field current. This will result with increase in terminal voltage. If terminal voltage is below the specified limit the reverse is done. 